Hey, here in the Dream Giveaway Garage. Want to know what I have in my hands? Piece of paper, Chris. I do have a piece of paper in my hand. And this piece of paper has some relevance to... Oh, I love looking at this engine bay, PJ. I, I want the guys to look at the engine bay, too. Because, you know, we talk about the modern engines. You can't see the engine anymore. You don't have to worry about that. That's when, all you see in this car. That's all you see in this engine bay is engine when it comes to the Viper V10, the 2009. And PJ, you're calling today's episode Viperlicious. And why exactly is that, sir? <laughs> because of the amount of low miles that low this miles. thing has. Less than a thousand miles. Yeah. That's right. It hasn't even bro broken in yet. Chris, what year is this? 2009. No, well, this is 2022, PJ. <laughs> what year is <laughs> this car? That, uh -huh. was one. that was a good one. Two, 2009. <laughs> 2009 with under 1,000 miles. Under 1,000 miles. Let that and sink in for a second. Uh, yeah, let it, let it sink in. And uh, you guys want to sink into that driver's seat and hit that engine start button and listen to that V10. Wow, you could have had a V10. Ha ah, ha, another joke. Uh, Roger says, look, the, the hood is already open. The hood is already open. I, yeah, I wasn't going to let you watch me open this hood, Roger. <laughs> but you did find out that the latch is under. The latch is under here on this here. second one. It's right down here. Yeah, it's right here. See? Then it's easy, and then you got that. Totally easy. Easier than a Jeep. Ha ha. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you, you got to love it. I mean, look, at you can see the whole engine right there. 600 horsepower of naturally aspirated all-American glory right there. Big Viper call-outs on the, on the valve covers. Did the Viper have a V10? Well, the Viper always had a V10. It's all it ever came with. 8.4 liters. Wow. Wow. This is such a great-looking engine. Yeah, I almost wish that the Hellcats, that you could see the engine like you see the V10 on the Viper. Right. It's just so incredible looking. Did you, you go know, to a car show and seeing this with the hood up? What's that? Did you go to a car show seeing this with the hood up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And everybody would love to see it. And the Dodge, very proud of the V10 right there. Right there on the air cleaner V10, 8.4 liter. And we're, we're very proud of this. Uh, cue that screen graphic, if you will, PJ. You want me to put what you've got in your hand up on the screen? That's correct. All righty. Because we, we have the technology to do that. Uh, so I was able to find the breakdown on the 2009 model year Viper production. And so if we look here, so let's uh, go down to row number five, and we see that we have the black. See it there? With the red stripe. And with, now there's two red stripe ones. So there's one with the single red stripe, that's the one that we have. So there were 13 of those made. 13. That's it. Amazing. Amazing. So when you enter to win, you'll know you're in the running for a one of 13. First time we've announced this. One of 13 2009 Dodge Viper ACR. And this is such an amazing vehicle. I'm not going to fire it up today, but maybe I'll fire it up tomorrow for you because we're that close to fire it up Friday. It's all about the engine. It is. Larry the, West says, I have a spot in my garage, clean and waiting. But you're going to need a big spot in your garage, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to need a, a big spot in your garage. It's a pretty long car. It is. But is it really any longer than that Corvette over there? I don't um, think so. Not really, but it's just I mean, all it's engine. It's still a two-seat. It is all engine. You know, it seems longer to you, PJ, because unlike something like the Cadillac, the seating area is farther back. That uh, The area forward of the firewall is really super long but from that dash back is not quite so long so it seems like a, a super long car but you're right most of it is fenders and engine what a great car and the tires on this continental sent us the tires and you've got to show them how wide those tires are no the ones on the now nah, the ones on the like back this, yeah uh kathy says track monster definitely yeah but Listen, not everybody has the time or the desire to go hang out on a track. But you could take this to the track on a certain day and then kind of drive it around the next you, day. You could do that. Keep right. it as a collectible, I guess. If you, you could have it as a weekend car. 345 millimeter on those back tires from Continental. Fantastic tires, plenty of grip. 600 horsepower on this. 
This is a street machine as much as it is a track machine. Remember, it's not like those early Dodge Vipers that only had plexiglass, that didn't have windshield wipers. By 2009, you've got full creature comforts in here, including, look at that, you got a power open right there. A little opener right Yeah, there. you've got air conditioning, you've got AM, FM, probably still even a CD player that year. Yes, there is one in there, yeah. CD player. MP3 player. What's that? MP3 player, so you can actually burn MP3s on a CD and put it in there and it would run. There you go. MP3 player. There you go. 900 and, Lori corrected me, it's not 917 anymore, it's got 980 miles on it now. Yeah. We're still trying to keep it under 1,000, so we're doing what we can do on that. Larry West says, glad I got my tickets early and just took advantage of the 4X tickets on the 4th. Yeah, you got to really close that one. Gotta, there we go. <laughs> So guys, that chart, you're happy to download that chart and to keep it and to see that this is one of 13 Dodge Viper ACRs in black with the red single stripe that were produced. Kathy says it's graphite metallic exterior. That's fantastic. Now hold on, am I on the right one? <laughs> no, you know what? I'm on the wrong darn one. Kathy, thank you for pointing that out. I was looking at the black ACR Viper, and we should be looking at the graphite metallic one. It's even rarer than I thought, So what's PJ. that, the third one down? Uh, third on one the down right on the second column. One of seven. Look at it right seven. there. Very first one there in that row. Okay. Very first one in the row. One of seven. One of freaking seven, ladies and gentlemen. So get that credit card out and go to www.dreamgiveaway.com. Get your entries to win this Viper. Use that promo code Facebook Live. You're going to get double the tickets because that's what we do for you guys out there. CJ wants to know, can we also throw in a garage so I would store it in that garage? <laughs> can we throw in the entire Dream Giveaway garage? No, no, he needs a garage. Oh, he needs a garage. <laughs> that would be a great idea. You know, like win your own garage and then we had people go out and build a garage for someone mm. we've never done that i like that idea we probably can't add it to this giveaway though but i'll tell you what we have added to a lot of the giveaways are gas cards like the um where's the bmw today bmw is out getting some work uh details done on it some mods but that i think we're adding a what a twenty five hundred dollar gift yeah. card gasoline gift card because we, we don't want you guys stressing out at the pump so we're going to take care of that too because you're a winner when you help out those charities that's how it works like brown wants to know if we're going to go to the meekum auction in orlando now we it's, can go down this it's this weekend yeah yeah i don't know maybe we'll have to see what's on the lot system yeah, yeah. we'll have to see what's there we might go there it's not that far it's about an hour and a half from us so depends okay uh so that's what we've got on on the viper today once again this is all about the engine Big V10 here, less than a thousand miles on it. Chris, how many heads do you think you'd turn if you were going up and down the road here with this big huge? Everybody would be thumbs up. Everybody. How often do you see a Viper out on the street anymore? You don't really see much V10s. One of seven produced in this color combination. One of seven in the entire planet. One of seven. Now there's a question here, uh, Orndrick yeah. wants to know, what is the last day of the giveaway? Now, we've added some cheat sheets for Chris and for oh, everybody else. Oh, just garage. for me. <laughs> for just for me, else, huh? <laughs> End of October 2022. We, we put these little stickers yeah. on the glass on yeah. the front. So Whatever the last day of October, last Tuesday in October is when the Viper giveaway ends. So you've still got all summer to get your entries. Start getting them today. Buy them all the way up through that last day. It's true. Okay. With so many cars in the garage, we definitely need those little cheat sheets once in a while. Which, to reiterate the question from yesterday, are we really going to be doing two giveaways a month? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. What if we're going to do three? <laughs> PJ, don't go there. Not yet. Ah! <laughs> we, we're running out of room here in the garage. Running out of room in the garage. It's Especially time to call Backyard Buddies. <laughs> Especially if we're going to keep putting these V10s in our Oh, that's garage. right. So remember, 
get your entries for this. PJ, what's happening a week from today? Oh, we're, I think we're picking a winner. Yeah, picking a for winner. The 71 for the 71 Corvette. Corvette. Yeah. yeah. One week from today. One week from today. So uh, be sure to be by your phone. Get all those voicemails off of your darn phone, please. <laughs> I'm going to fill my And thank you. Second. Please and thank you. <laughs> That's a week from today. So keep your fingers crossed. Somebody already has that lucky ticket. We don't know who yet. We'll know in a week. Right. The independent auditors haven't selected nope, it yet. Nope. Not yet. The, you know, we actually did get a question. When the independent auditors select the uh, winning ticket yeah. number, do we call them that day or do we wait? No, we call them that day. Call well, them that we day. We find out. Yeah, because we're excited and we want the winner to know. Yeah. And we want everybody to know. So the day we know is the day the winner knows if they've taken their voicemails <laughs> off their voicemail, off their answering machine. But we've never had a problem getting in touch with the winner. Eventually. Eventually, <laughs> even if we have to like uh, knock on their door. Yeah, we've never had to physically knock on someone's door and tell them. No, we've always been pretty good about getting a hold yeah. of them. We'll yeah, We'll leave messages and social media stalk you and text you and email you. <laughs> and we'll do all sorts That's of things, right. overnight letters. All right, tomorrow we're going to fire it up. I don't know what Kathy wants me to fire up, but whatever she says, maybe I'll fire up the Viper too. Yeah, we'll add a dual fire yeah. up Friday. And next week, we're going to talk more about that F100 right behind PJ and about that classic Corvette, that 64 fuel e car. So we're going to be talking about those. Want to take a quick peek of it? Uh, no. No? No. You want to hold them in suspense? Yeah, hold them in suspense on that. And I got to tell you, I was out driving the 614 mile uh, Monte Carlo SS today from 1987. We were doing a video review on it. I didn't drive it far. I had it here in the complex. It drives like a brand new car from 1987. It, it is so much fun. It's another low mile car. It, it really is. And it, has a, it doesn't have an A track, it has a cassette. So I have to think of what cassette I can put in there that would really talk about. Uh, oh, we got to bring in the journeys. Journey cassettes got to go. Nah, right Journey's there. earlier in the 80s. How about uh, 87? What's an 87? That would be really, really cool. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to go back to our pop Maybe some culture. Sammy Hagar. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, if you guys have a cassette that you want me to play in the Monte Carlo SS for you, be like Larry West, right? Yeah. Be like Larry West and send it to me here at the Dream Giveaway Garage. And I promise I'll, I'll give you a nice uh, thank you and a shout out on a Facebook Live, and I will put that cassette in the Monte Carlo, and I will jam it for you. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for joining us today. It's always fun. Tomorrow's Fire Red Up Friday. Hopefully, I'll get to fire up two things as long as Kathy doesn't tell me she chooses Viper. Then I get to fire up two cars tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. More great fun, more great action, more great grand prizes. Like this wonderful engine. Have I shown it to you today? Yeah. Take one more look. Larry says can't drive 55, so you're right. <laughs> there there you go. Hagar. That's very 1987. We'll see you guys tomorrow in our favorite place on earth, the Dream Giveaway Garage. See you next time. <laughs>